what's up crypto world so a quick update uh, the market is uh, going downwards uh, once again today five percent down on big tc a significant drawdown on uh, ethereum and uh, a lot of our coins as well um, Bitcoin hovering around the 58,000 mark. Uh, we have uh, some altcoins do, doing pretty well at the same time. Uh, Optimism uh, being one of those in a couple of these uh, layer two. Starknet uh, having a pretty good day today. So uh, the reason why I'm jumping on here is you can see I'm feeding my son who's just uh, about to fall asleep. So I'm going to make this real snappy. Um, I'm just out here, uh, he's uh, going out the country tomorrow, so I have to go to the police station to give my consent for his travel with his mother. But um, it just got me thinking about uh, what's going on in the crypto markets at the moment, big day. Uh, we heard the news that uh, crypto OG, Bitcoin Jesus, Roger V got detained in Spain on charges by the Department of Justice in the USA where he renounced his uh, citizenship quite some time ago um, uh, with charges of uh, money laundering and tax evasion etc uh, which is uh, quite concerning uh, considering for those that understand um, uh, Roger's history obviously I don't have all the facts on this uh, particular matter and I'm not taking any position in that but uh, what I just really want to say uh, is somebody that actually has had some uh, personal um, encounters with uh, Roger, uh, a lot of correspondence back and forth, especially when I started uh, this publication, uh, Decentralized News. Back then, I was still hosting the site on uh, Decentralized.Africa domain and uh, I'd reached out to him, I uh, just kind of really, um, telling him of uh, you know what I was doing and uh, kind of my mission to also uh, really focus on especially in the global south uh, bringing the message of the value proposition of our peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash which was the original vision of uh, Bitcoin and uh, you can read his uh, recent book that's Roger's recent book about hijacking Bitcoin and uh, uh, all of that if you want to understand kind of just uh, how um, Bitcoin has evolved over the years in terms of uh, uh, its uh, most uh, dominant use cases or the, the narrative uh, of uh, said value. So uh, really close to home for me because I was looking through some of the emails which I think I will make public at some point when I have maybe put out a book about um, kind of uh, just uh, the rise and uh, the hijacking, I guess, of uh, the crypto industry by the legacy world as I see it, as I view it in a lot of uh, libertarians and people who are really uh, proponents of uh, decentralization like Roger Veer, uh, which is really kind of a movement that I'm, I'm passionate about, a movement that really got me involved in Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies in the first place, coming from a country like Zimbabwe, where I understood um, the uh, limitations of fiat and uh, also uh, just um, uh, the consequences of uh, money debasement and things of that nature. Roger did show support to me as I bounced ideas to them about uh, w what I was thinking and he was kind of always just encouraging me to really hone in on that uh, value proposition of peer-to-peer uh, -peer electronic cash and I can just explain this in simple terms where if you think about the money that we use today, it's not necessarily about uh, digital currencies in the sense of online um, transacting of uh, uh, value in a digital format, especially in the way that uh, blockchain enabled a peer-to-peer -peer transfer where you don't have a double spend issue. It's more about... Uh, uh, the freedom that comes with cash and uh, how cash um, uh, limits um, the authorities in terms of the uh, overreach on uh, your freedoms and the way that you choose to uh, spend your value. So I just wanted to obviously make a video uh, like a lot of people who've been supported by Roger over the years uh, directly and indirectly he's invested in hundreds of companies in the crypto space who donated a lot of money to many causes 
is just to show our support and uh, obviously stay vigilant uh, with our mission and understand that uh, it's, a, it's a hard battle that we are fighting for, especially when it comes to true decentralization and uh, whatever is coming to him based off of the charges that he has, I think we still can't forget that uh, we're looking at a person here who is uh, really integral to the movement. Um, you know, he was uh, the first retailer in the legacy world with his uh, companies, I remember, Memory Dealers, to um, accept Bitcoin as a uh, form of payment when nobody considered it a payment method. Back in the day, this is when, um, if you remember, you know, we had the Bitcoin pizza uh, situation where uh somebody got ten thousand bitcoin for a pizza this was when you know the true evangelists for peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash and um roger has bitcoin jesus himself was a true pioneer in that uh really kind of uh, uh pushing for the movement uh, for greater adoption and uh now we're seeing that you know he's continuing to to battle uh and suffer the consequences of such a movement especially when you're dealing with forces that are really propelled and driven by the exact opposite which is uh, your enslavement through uh, the fiat currency money system so you know I just want to show my support and I hope we all really speak out loudly uh, in support of Roger and everything that is going through and I want to say I wish you well and uh, we'll keep fighting the fight uh, if you want to stay obviously uh in the know about everything that will be going on i'll be following this case very closely so make sure you uh follow decentralized news on all our social media platforms i'm really starting to pivot to rumble um it just is an alternative because uh, i've seen that uh, it's always good to have platforms where you actually have a core audience that is uh, um aligned with the values of providing at least censorship free platforms so uh, make sure you also go check out the ramble and uh, follow us on all the other socials and i'll see you guys in the next piece